Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm Lady Revan. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do and hit the notification bell for future uploads in this series as well as other content. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started today. Uh, last time we left off, we were on Van Fleen. I think we finished a murder investigation, which I'm actually going to check our autosave and see if I can go back and redo that. I may stop recording and start re-recording, just because I like to usually have different companions with me, because they have better dialogue. Um, so we might redo that with different dialogue. What's going on? Sorry about that. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and on a sad note, my finger gun's revving my ship. At least it didn't crack all the way. This is actually my second mug. The first one cracked and was leaking. This one just chipped. It's not leaking, but it's continuing. Play the game! And I will link where to get this in the description. Auto save for it again. Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay, let me check our quest log. Oh. What did you finish? Handling readers. Okay, so we can redo the raiders. But I'm not going to save anyway, I'm just doing this to show the other option. Maybe not. Let me see the other way. Sandal Browns. Never mind. Okay, so never mind. Our last auto save is already after that point. Dang it. 
Is it though? No, nah, it shouldn't be. Cancel. Oh. This is the Sand of Thrones. Okay, so turns out the autosave is after the point that I want to show again, so we're just going to ignore that. Um, we have to do Mandalorian Raiders, so we gotta turn that, investigate the ruins, we have to turn in a bunch of stuff. So let's go turn in some quests. Return to the Ebon Hawk. Okay. While we're here. Might as well do one other thing that I've been meaning to do. I'm gonna walk back out immediately, and we're gonna bring Mission with us. And it doesn't really matter who else. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Speak to Mission! Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's, it's, it's just gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Alrighty. Let's keep walking. Maybe talk to Mission again. Hey there, what can I do for you? Do you want to talk about your brother? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. And now it's glitched. Why do you hate her so much? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe she actually liked Griff. I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, 
Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Maybe something happened to him. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Never mind. Okay, have it your way. Okay, so that was a glitch. She wasn't supposed to say that yet, but apparently because we came out before having that other conversation, she did that. So now we're going to go back to the Ebenhawk, exit again, and hopefully we'll get the conversation that we were supposed to have in between that. We're supposed to be an NPC romance. Womp womp. There we go! That's Lena. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Okay, no, 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 we were supposed to... I forgot, we were already talking about Lena. Now, here's Lena! You took her brother alone away and left her alone on Terrace. You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if she wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Maybe he thought you were better off on Paris. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. So, where's Griff now? Still on Tatooine, as far as I know. Not that I really care anymore. And if Mission was smart, she'd forget about that no-good con artist. But Griff is my brother! I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. Hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Okay, so not glitch, I just forgot that she mentioned Lena beforehand. And sorry for my distractions and direction. Sophie is being adorable! Aren't you, Sophie? She was chasing a fly, and that's very cute. No? Can't fetch you? Okay. She doesn't want to be touched. Alrighty! Let's ditch mission. Back to the ship with you. Bring Basla. Okay. Let's talk to Basla for a moment. How can I help? I want to talk to you about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Why did we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. 
Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean a trace? Uh, isn't it a bit convenient to dream about our enemies? And what else should we dream about except that which is most important to our fate? We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Mm, what do you think Malak and Revan were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. I'm... I still don't understand why we shared this vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. So the physical bond thing, if you're playing as male, you have an opportunity to flirt with her at that point. It's, in my opinion, really bad flirting, and it would make you want to punch a guy in the face. Um, but yeah, that's, that's an option. Um, let's see here. You think you will receive more of these visions? Or, no. I'm still not sure I like the idea of you being in my dreams. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? I suppose that's possible. Regardless of which it is, our fates are linked. The vision was doubtless meant for us both. Do you think we'll receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us, but when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. That's all I wanted to know. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. Okay, let's turn in some quests. Yeah, hear what we got here. Mission's brother. Investigate ruins. My four raiders. Those are all outside. Oh, actually, there's a little thing here. I think it's restored content. Never actually checked otherwise. How did you know that? Jedo Badwana Nidi Bobo. Tong Nabungsha Nunya. Tong Patukashmak Telea. Runda di Hotonga Kun Hanka Bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek? Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Mucho shak pa khat. Ki ye nono nama paole rachikun. Did I get in trouble for this? Ka chikun ida hodonga. Ye king kuno ba mule rachikun. Slimo po dona rundi hodonga ku hunkabe. Runda di hodonga kun hunkabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. I'm not an expert on the Jedi, but this seems like the kind of thing that could get a person into a lot of trouble. The crystals are sacred. No self-respecting Jedi would ever do such a thing. Tong abog sha umni nang wonga kumbis king balemuraya. Choni yon tun chichi ida duana kava volpa mulje gumana chi gratu loda bograshi oni un kumba chin tumba mochuba loda di takun. Ida patisa batua kachatu tung bagra shakun tijaka um chuba kaha chapa chawa chwish yunku jodo jidbunga rantang achuta 
뭔가 군비 돌비 기구였나? 똥 바투가 막 들려. So that's a little extra conversation that comes up if you visited the uh, caves. Get crystals. I think it's restored content. I don't remember having experienced it ever um, without restored content mod installed. However, I can't say I've specifically tried to talk to him afterward. Otherwise, um, so yeah, probably restored content. Ronda di hotonga kun honka bi. Yeah, yeah, you hate Zerka. Okay. Sorry. Now we can talk to the council about fixing that thing with the sandals and the metales. Char! I have say? nothing left to teach you, Padawan, though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. Okay. For good or ill, you are now a true Padawan. The time has come for you and Bastilla to investigate the dream you shared. The secrets to stopping Malak may lie hidden within the ancient Dantuian ruins you both saw in your visions. I have heard that the Sandrals and Matales have agreed to cooperation in the construction of a new estate to house their children. Apparently, a son of one family and the daughter of the other are getting married. I also hear that we have you to thank for this happy occurrence. I am glad that you are using the authority our order wields to achieve some measure of good. Yay! Thank you to Proves. Dora, do you have anything to say? Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As chronicler of the academy here on Dantooine, I find your quest for knowledge admirable. But I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Okay. May the Force be with you. Okay. So only figure to says things. Let's see. You turn in these couple quests. Ah, and cram. So she's so fluffy and she's in a box. And she wants all the pets. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? I fought and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Thank you, John. So you can refuse the reward for more life side points. Uh, or you can say it's not enough for dark side points. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Yay! Let's get talk to her about her droid. Oh gosh, that speeder's loud. My droid is still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. So you can lie and say that he was destroyed by calf hounds. You can say that your droid had to be destroyed and explain why. 
or you can say that the bird escaped nowhere to be found, he's still out there somewhere. We're gonna tell her the truth. I'm afraid your droid had to be destroyed. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Ah, Karth trying to walk away. She's like, no, I'm gonna walk around you. You tried, Karth. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to the Enclave real quick. What do you want? Now, Samt, don't be so rude. If it wasn't for this young Jedi, we wouldn't have met. I... I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. You can see there's no read you can go damn right. Or of words be slower than words. Damn right. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. So you can go, meh, I seem better. He doesn't look that impressive. Or, yeah, he seems nice. He seems impressive. He's kind of rude to us, though. Meh, I've seen better. Samt and I got to talking, and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me, and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you. All right, yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna tack on a little bonus thing of an old video I took on my phone of what happens if you have the droid alive and return it to her and have Karth and Candorous with you. Because um, it's, it's really amusing banter, especially from Candorous. Karth has some great stuff too in that, but Candorous is just... Wow. So... We'll see that in a moment. Let me go ahead and save, and I think this is where we're going to end this episode. Obviously, the little bonus bit at the end, that will be the actual end. Um, and then in the next one, we will go ahead and see what this dream was about. Well, until next time. Bye! Okay, so I'm replaying this because I've never had these companions with me when I've chosen the specific end of this quest before, and I just had to record it and share it because this was great. Oh, thank you, thank you! I don't know what I would have done if I had lost it. No. Oh, it's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home right now and celebrate, aren't we, my lovely little droid? Don't worry, I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. Alright, alright, that's fairly normal. Blah, blah, blah.
blah, 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 Let's go chase them into the enclave and into the room and see what happens and see what Karth and Kendris have to say about the situation. Uh -huh. It gets pretty dirty. I guess that droid is really going to serve his master tonight. Well then, Candorous. We know where your mind is. <laughs> 